Hi guys, so back in 2019, as we know, Boris Johnson's party, the Conservatives, won an 80-seat majority in the House of Commons. Now, under proposed changes to the electoral map, if they had been applied back in 2019, Boris Johnson's party would have won not 80 seats, but perhaps 90 seats. This is part of a bigger strategy to disenfranchise voters, to stop people from coming out and voting, or when they do, their vote being absolutely useless. This is something the Conservatives seem to be copying from their friends in the United States, the Republican Party, we've seen it with voter ID, and this is also part of another problem which is called gerrymandering. Now gerrymandering is not something new, it has been around for a very long time, but what you do is you redraw the map in order to help you basically and hinder the opposition. So you're going to hear from a Conservative pollster who's going to confirm this. No, you, you don't want to talk about individual constituencies, but is it right that on balance, if the last general election had been fought on these boundaries, uh, Boris Johnson's majority would have been even bigger? Yes, uh, I can now because the embargo has been lifted, so I'm fine. Um, but yes, overall, I think the Conservatives are estimating, uh, I'm estimating that it'll be a gain of about five to ten seats to the Conservatives' advantage. The opposition would lose, obviously, those five to ten. It's not just the Labour Party, because Scotland loses seats, Wales loses seats, and therefore it could well impact on both Plaid and the SNP, as well as the Labour Party. OK, there are many things to say about this. Is this a foregone conclusion? No, it's not. Um, if it was applied to 2019, yes, maybe a 90-seat majority. If it was applied, to, well, as it's been applied today, would that mean that Boris Johnson would hold a 90-seat majority? Probably not, because there has been a shift taking place. The, the North is becoming bluer, but the South is becoming redder, which is interesting. But it's important now that the Labour Party understand this problem and they fight this problem. They need to form a coalition, a progressive alliance with other parties like the SNP, the Greens, the Liberal Democrats, independents, to combat this. Because otherwise, if they do not, Labour can't win a majority on their own. But if they don't form a coalition, a form an electoral pact, the Conservatives are likely to be in power forever. Because if they've changed the map now, they can change the map again to help them. Their share of the vote in real terms will decrease but their power will increase. This is extremely concerning. This is part of a bigger plan, as I said before, bringing in voter ID laws to stop people from being able to vote and then changing rules where changing the map so that even if people do come out and vote, their vote is useless because it represents they have no power in changing the, the makeup of the government. So the Conservatives only way is to maintain something like this. The Labour Party need to form a coalition, get into power. They don't even need many policies. They just need to get into power, then introduce proportional representation, a real proportional represent, re representation, not some half arse measure. Implement it, call an election, and then you would have a new government, a coalition government, but you would have the Tories out of power. You may have the Tories in power in the future, but it would be a completely different Conservative Party in the future. They would not have a majority either. You would have a party and you would have a government that's more representative of the people. First past the post is not. So if the, the Labour Party don't do something about this, you're going to have Boris Johnson or the Conservative or another Conservative leader in charge for the foreseeable future. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee, so why not check it out?